Hello, welcome to Cheers and Hobby and today I will show you on how to use CX10WD. So let's have a look what is in the box. So first of all we'll find the manual here. There is a little plastic bag here with a white um, frame for your drone in case you would like to change it to the white color. Uh, there is as well a protective guard for your propellers, propeller wrench. Then the transmitter and the drone, Re retractable mobile phone brackets, which uh, I installed here. The USB charger for the drone. The screwdriver in order to change the drone's frame and you'll find as well eight additional propellers so I did install the batteries and they're here please pay attention to the polarity before you install let's get the drone out so there are three ways how to control the drone first first what you can do you can fly the drone with your controller obviously you'll not be able to get the video out of the drone second way is using the mobile phones application and you can control the drone having the video as well and the third way is to use the transmitter to control the drone and mobile phone application as your FPV Wi-Fi uh, stream So let's turn the drone on. There is an on off switch. Turn it on. And after that, what you're gonna see, you'll see that the, there are four LED lights. The red lights are at the rear of the drone and the blue lights are at the front of the drone. After that, what you have to do is to turn on the transmitter and then move the throttle stick fully up and down in order to link the transmitter and the drone and after that the LED lights will stop blinking now what you can do you can uh, press the right side uh, button here in order for auto takeoff and then the bottom um, button is for auto landing or you can start the motors manually by moving the sticks to the corners and as you can see the motors started spinning and we can stop them exactly the same way now when the drone doesn't fly stable while hovering for example it leans to the left or right or front or it goes to one direction or another what you can do you can uh, turn the drone and the transmitter off turn it back link them again put the drone on the flat surface it should be on the flat surface and then move the sticks to the right bottom corner in order to calibrate the gyroscope the lights are blinking we let the sticks go and wait until the lights stop blinking the lights just now stopped blinking indicating that the gyroscope was calibrated successfully and the drone should fly as before. So now for the CX10WD application you can find the information about the application and barcode and scan the barcode here at the manual for Apple and Android phones. There are two separate applications. So when you install your application, what you would have to do, you would have to go to your settings and go to your Wi-Fi, turn on your Wi-Fi unit, and then you'll find CX10D device you have to connect. So it is already connected to CX10WD device. After the connection is successful, then it is time to go to the application so let's go to the application and this is what you're gonna see 
press play and it will take you directly to the screen and you can see that there is already uh, real-time Wi-Fi FPV video so in order to control the drone with the transmitter all you need to do now is press this button here on and it will switch to off and the sticks on the application will disappear and you can install the phone into the brackets brackets to the flight uh, to the transmitter and you can have some FPV fun and this is how to control the phone with the application let's turn the drone go to the settings then we go to Wi-Fi unit and we'll have to wait this is the CX10D all right let's connect wait until it the connection is successful all right was successful connected then we go back and now it's time to go to the application itself and this is what we're gonna see again a live live Wi-Fi FPV video now what we can do how to fly this drone uh, we have to use auto takeoff auto landing uh, buttons in order to uh, take off the drone to the air and land it and then we can control it with the sticks here so on the light on the right side the stick is throttle and rotational yaw the stick here is the directional stick if we press button here it will take us back to the main uh, screen then this uh, button after that is a picture button video button this button here will take us to the storage of videos and pictures where we can preview our videos and pictures taken before the percent 30 60 and 100 indicate the speed of the drone uh, this button here turns on the gravity sensor and it means when the gravity sensor is on we do not have to use the directional stick in order to make the drone fly forward backwards right or left uh, right or left all we need to do we need to, uh, to lean the phone to the front backwards right or to the left this button here with an arrow showing down uh, will make the drone to do a front flip uh, the scale bo uh, button is gyroscope calibration button on off we already know if we were to use the transmitter we need to switch it to the off reverse reverse the screen upside down and the last one will split the screen into two just in case you want to use VR goggles for your FPV flying so this is the USB charger and the charging port is here just below the on off switch this is how it connects and now we can connect to the uh, portable chargers or your um, computer or your mobile phone charger what we find here in this bag as I mentioned before the white frame and in order to change the frame we have to remove the propellers and screw the four screws and then put what is inside into this frame here clip the clips and add the screws and it's going to be ready to fly the propeller protective guard it is added from the bottom very easy and straightforward to add so now when we fly it will protect us against hitting into the wall or some object so for the beginners it may be a very good idea and then the range and this is this range is specifically to remove the 
Pro colors. Now there are two types of propellers. You'll find two types of propellers. One is A with letter A on it. And another is with letter B on it. So this is the front of the drone where the camera is. So A propellers are, are going here to the front right and bottom left. These are the A propellers. And top left and bottom right are B propellers. If you install pro propellers not in the right order, the drone may not take off or flip to one on another side. Thank you very much and cheers on hobby team wishes you happy flying.